everyone, today I'm here with my September wrap up and October TBR. <laughs> So whilst overall September was a pretty good month, I read about seven books and started another one, I did not read as much as I needed to. The first book is Stardust by Neil Gaiman, one of my university course readings and I really enjoyed this one. Even though I did enjoy it, it took me a while to read. I don't know why, but I just was not able to read this fast. But I gave this one a four and a half out of five stars really liked it and for my course I do have to watch the movie. I did actually watch the movie a long time ago but I can't really remember much about it like at all so yeah there's that. <laughs> the next book I finished was Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween and this one I also gave a five out of five stars. I loved it. I loved it so so much. It was amazing. Some just really shocking and gruesome moments but I loved the main characters so much. I loved the characters in this. It was really good. It was really good. Next I read The Mercenary Sea Volume 1 by Kel Simons. This is a graphic novel. I rated this one about three and a half out of five stars. I did enjoy it and I did actually do a written review of this one which I will link down below. I love the artistic style in this one. I think it is absolutely stunning and there were just some moments where I had to stop and just sit there and admire the beauty on the page and I'm actually really excited to see what else happens in this series. I'm looking forward to volume two. Next I read The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This has magic and it was really really fun. I gave this a four out of five stars. Again I did a full review of this one so if you'd like my spoiler free thoughts on it then watch the review, link down below. But overall I thought this was a really good setup for a series that seemed like it was just gonna get even more epic and exciting and adventurous, so looking forward to it. Next I read Adventure Time Candy Capers. I don't own it, lending it to the boyfriend at the moment, but this was so much fun. I gave this a five out of five stars just because I love Adventure Time so much and when I was reading it, I could literally hear the characters' voices as I was reading it, like it was so well done in capturing every different character's personality. Like it was really really well done. So I thought that was awesome. I really liked it. It was just it's an adventure time. Adventure time. Next I read Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout for the Little Book Club. I gave this one about a three and a half out of five stars. It was kind of an addictive story like I wasn't able to stop reading it but I wasn't blown away by it. I really didn't like Damon. Like really <laughs> I did not like Damon. I did not like Damon and I picked up on just some little things like inconsistencies in the writing and stuff like that but yeah overall it was enjoyable and from what I've seen some of the sequels are much much better than this first one so yeah I will be continuing this series. Also if you are interested I am hosting a live show discussion for Obsidian which will be on Sunday the 5th 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but I'll leave some more times and stuff down below. The beginning of the live show will be spoiler free but after about 10-15 minutes or so we do dive into the spoilery stuff so you can come along if you'd like to or not and I will also be doing a review later on in October. If you don't make it to the live show you still want to know more about my thoughts you can look for that video. The last book that I finished throughout the month was Talon by Julie Kagawa. Another one that I do have a review planned for later on in this month. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. I ended up giving it a three and a half out of five stars as well. Overall, I really enjoyed it, but there were some characters I didn't connect to and other ones that I just really didn't like as well. So yeah, so those are the books that I finished. I am currently reading like all of the same books. I haven't made progress on the ones that I was already reading before the month, including but not limited to Serafina, The Furies of Calderon. <laughs> I did have to pick up another one, which was The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. I am only a little bit of the way through this one. This is the book that Bookworld sent me for the Reader Rewards program. And once I finish this one, I will also be reviewing it. And although I've only read a little bit, I'm really enjoying it so far. I love the writing. I really love the writing. So I can't wait. I can't wait to finish it. Okay, now for the October TBR. It's pretty much just going to be trying to catch up on the books that I was supposed to read this month. So that includes these three books which I need to read for university. The Red Shoe by Ursula Dubasarsky, The Fire Eaters by David Armand, and Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. I will also be reading Vicious by V. E. Schwab. This is the book that the Little Book Club will be reading this month. If you'd like to join us, I will leave a link to the discussion and Goodreads group down below. But yeah, I've been wanting to read this one for so, 
so long and Jesse has raved about it and Jesse gave me this book, so I'm finally getting to it. I'm really, really excited about this one. I will also be reading The Empress Chronicles by Susie Vitello. I'm participating in a blog tour for this book, so obviously I'll be reading and reviewing it. And my post over on my blog will be going up on October 30th. I may or may not do a video review alongside it. Not entirely sure, it depends on my schedule. And I think that's all that I have planned for October. Not a ridiculous amount, but I've got a lot of books that I'm halfway through and need to finish. I've got a lot of things to do this month. It's gonna be tricky guys. Really tricky. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But yeah, that's all. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments about any of the books that I mentioned and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!